We're in the woods with Troy. We're going to talk about the double chainsaw girdle. Your professional forester has recommended killing some trees and leaving them standing. How am I going to do that, Troy? One great way to do that is the double chainsaw girdle. Troy's here. So let's kill this honey locust. And we're to attack this thing with the chainsaw. Troy's going to pick a convenient spot for his height and build. Safely starting it. And he's basically going to ring this tree. All the way around and look at that overlap. That overlap is critical. He's going to move about eight inches up. Let's pause it right there. Now this is critical. Look at the bar depth that Troy is using. You only want to cut in to the inner bark and a portion of the sapwood. If you do have a thicker bark tree, you really got to take that bark thickness into consideration. Any deeper than that can cause premature falling of the tree. Look at that overlap, beautiful. That's going to ensure that that tissue does not jump or reconnect itself. Now for trees that you don't want to stump sprout, you gotta apply herbicide to these girdles, immediately following cutting. Now that is good application right there. Getting it into the girdle, but not having excess run down the stem. This is an example of over applying. You do not want this runoff. Well, this tree is toast. The double chainsaw girdle, an effective way to remove standing trees. We'll see you in the woods.